Edexcel A-Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 2. Tessa owns a small clove shop in a seaside town. She records the weekly sales figures, W pounds, and the average weekly temperature, T degrees C, for eight weeks during the summer. The product moment correlation coefficient for these data is negative 0.915. Stating your hypotheses clearly and using a 5% level of significance, test whether or not the correlation between sales figures and average weekly temperature is negative. So, our null hypothesis is going to be that there is no correlation whatsoever, so rho is zero. Our alternative hypothesis, H1, we're looking to check whether the correlation is negative so our alternative hypothesis, rho, will be smaller than zero, hence negative. Now for the testing. We're going to use our product moment coefficient table for this. We're looking at a 5% level of significance. So we're going to look at the column for 5%, or 0.05 in this case. And our sample size is 8, because there are 8 weeks that we've taken the average weekly temperature for. So looking in our table for where 0.05 and 8 meet, we get 0.6215. Now note that all of the values in this table are positive, as if it was a positive correlation that we're looking for. As ours is a negative correlation, we just take the negative version of this. So our critical value is negative 0.6215. Now if we think, when testing this data, that we're looking how close to a perfect negative correlation it is. So a perfect negative correlation is negative one. So anything closer to negative one than the critical value, in this case, we can go over our alternative hypothesis. Well, the product moment correlation coefficient for Tessa's data is negative 0.915. This is smaller than negative 0.6215, closer to negative one. So it's a significant result. So we can say that there is evidence of a negative relationship between W and T. Now for part B, we want to suggest a possible reason for this correlation. Well, we could say that as the temperature rises, people spend more time on the beach, hence less time shopping. Note that we've put that extra bit in there about people spending more time on the beach. We have to be careful not just to repeat the relationship that we can see in the question. Okay? The question tells us that as the temperature rises, there's less spend. So we need to give a bit of a reason why there might be less spend people spending more time on the beach is a perfectly valid reason. Tessa suggests that a linear regression model could be used to model these data, and we need to state giving a reason whether or not the correlation coefficient is consistent with Tessa's suggestion. So for a linear regression model, we need a very strong positive or negative correlation to get that straight line. Tessa's coefficient is negative 0.915, that's very close to negative one. Hence, it is consistent with Tessa's suggestion. We now need to state giving a reason which variable would be the explanatory variable. Well, looking at our two variables, we've got the amount spent and we've got the temperature outside. Now, the temperature outside looks like it affects the amount spent, but it's certainly not the other way around. The amount spent certainly doesn't affect the temperature. So our temperature, T, must be the explanatory variable because that is the one that's likely to be affecting the other one. Now Tessa's calculated a linear regression equation as W equals 10,755 minus 171t. We need to give an interpretation of the gradient of this regression equation. So the gradient is the multiple of t, so minus 171. If we now think about what happens as t changes, well, if we increase t by 1, W is going to go down by 171. So there's our answer. Every one degree rise in temperature leads to 171 pounds lower weekly earnings. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.